Hi, second graders. My name is Miss Diorio, and I am a teacher at Citizenship Academy. And welcome to your first math lesson of second grade. So, before we get started, go grab something to write with and something to write on. I have a whiteboard and a marker. You can grab a piece of paper. You can grab a notebook. You can grab a chalkboard, whatever you have at home. Pause the video and go get those things. You ready? Okay, I'm going to make myself small. And here we go. So over the next couple days, we're going to be reviewing a little bit of what you learned in first grade. So we're going to be talking about sums, which are answers to addition problems, and differences, which are answers to subtraction problems, within 20. Okay? Today, our focus is going to be those number pairs that add up to 10. Easy enough, right? You got this. Here we go. Our first task is I'm going to show you a 10 frame. And then I'm going to snap my fingers. What I want you to tell me is how many more we need to get to 10. So don't tell me how many are in the 10 frame. Tell me how many more we need to get to 10. Okay, let's do the first one together. So you see a 10 frame with three circles in it. Now, how many more do we need to get to 10? Three plus what is going to equal 10? I'm going to snap my fingers and you're going to say seven. Good job. All right. Try this one. 4 and 10. How many more do we need to get from 4 to get to 10? 6. Beautiful job. How many more to get from 8 to 10? 2. Good job. Ooh, what goes with 10 to make 10? Do we need any more? 0. Excellent. Okay. Now take out your whiteboard, take out your pencil, paper, whatever you need. This time, I'm going to show you a 10 frame, and I want you to write one addition sentence and one subtraction sentence to show me how to get to 10. So let's do the first one together. So I have a 10 frame. My 10 frame has 7. So I'm going to start with the number 7 in my addition sentence. Now, I see three open squares there, so I know I need three more to get to 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Now we're going to turn that into a subtraction sentence. We start with our whole, which is 10, and then we can take either of the parts. We can either take 7 or 3. It doesn't matter. I'm going to pick 7 and then put the other part as our answer. So I have 7 plus 3 equals 10. 10 minus 7 equals 3. You can also do 10 minus 3 equals 7, whatever you choose. So let's check it here. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 10 minus 3 equals 7. 7 minus, 10 minus 7 equals 3. Any of those answers work. All right. I'm going to erase my whiteboard. Let's get ready for the next one. Okay. Here we go. Two addition sentence. I mean, one addition sentence, one is a subtraction sentence. If you want to do two, go right ahead. All right. I did mine. I'm going to show mine. Let's see what we got. We saw 5 on the top, so we have 5 plus 5 equals 10. 10 minus 5 equals 5. And then, same thing. All right, next one. All right, go. One subtraction, one addition. Ready? These are mine. I saw nine dots on top. Let's see. 9 plus 1 equals 10. 10 minus 9 equals 1. Remember, if you are having any trouble with this or you want to review it, you can pause the video and rewind whenever you want. This is going too fast. It's the perks of having online videos. All right, next one. Okay. Ready? These are mine. Let's see what we got. Saw so eight dots up there, so eight plus two equals ten. 10 minus 8 equals 2. They took the whole and moved it over to make the subtraction sentence. 10 minus 2 equals 8. If you got any of those or all of those, excellent work. Let's do the next one. Ready? Go ahead and write that addition and subtraction sentence. Let's see. There were... Nine dots up there. One more to make ten. 
9 plus 1 is 10. 10 minus 9 equals 1. 10 minus 1 equals 9. Excellent job. Let's try this one. It's going to disappear in 3, 2, 1. Write me that addition and subtraction sentence. Always getting to 10. Ready? This is what I got. I saw three dots. So we can do 7 plus 3 equals 10, or 3 plus 7 equals 10. Either one works. 10 minus 3 equals 7. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Good job. Ooh. Ready? It's going to disappear in 3, 2, 1. One addition, one subtraction sentence. Go! I wrote subtraction instead of addition. Ready? Here we go. I saw five dots in our 10 frame. We need five more to make 10. Five plus five is 10. 10 minus five is five. Ooh. Here we go. I'm gonna erase it in three, two, one. One addition, one subtraction sentence, go. Ready? Here are my answers. I saw one dot, so one plus nine equals 10. 10 minus 9 equals 1. 10 minus 1 equals 9. Beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to practice counting using the say 10 way. That's when we say how many 10s are first, and then we add on our extra 1s first. So, for example, if you see the number 11, you're going to say 10, 1, because there's 10 and 1. All right. So, 11 would be... 10, 1. 12, 10, 2. 13, 10, 3. Good. 14, 10, 4. Very good. 15, 10, 5. Noticing a pattern? 16, 10, 6. 17, 10, 7. 18, 10, 8. 19, 10, 9. 20. How many 10s? Two tens. Excellent. Okay. Now, this time, I'm going to give you a number. It might be a, in the say 10 way, or it might be just a number like 12. And you are going to take your whiteboard, and you are going to write that number using the 10 plus number sentence. So, for example, if I say 10, 2, you're going to say 10 plus 2 equals 12. If I say 14... You're going to say 10 plus 4 equals 14. You're going to write that on your whiteboard or your paper. Okay, so first one, 13. So I'm going to start with 10 plus how many ones equals 13. Good. 10, 6. So start with 10. 10 plus 6 equals 16. Very good. 17. I'll read that for you. Start with 10. 10 plus 7 equals 17. Excellent. 18. 10 plus 8 equals 18. Very, very good. We're always adding from the 10 when we're doing these. 10, 5. 10 plus 5 equals 15. Excellent work. 11. Don't get tricked. Think about the number 11. Start with your 10 plus. 10 plus 1 equals 11. 10, 8. 10 plus 8 equals 18. You're awesome. 10, 1. Did something similar. Don't get tricked. 10 plus 1 equals 11. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to preview our number bonds. Remember in our number bonds, we have three circles. You guys are experts at number bonds. Three circles. We have a whole and two parts. And we can manipulate this in a bunch of different ways. We can do addition, subtraction, lots of different things with the number bonds. For our number bonds for today, our whole is always going to be 10. So go ahead and draw this number bond on your paper. You're going to have a whole of 10 every time and two parts, okay? I'm going to show you a number bond. You are going to tell me the missing part to make 10. So if the missing part, if I give you a 5, the missing part over here to make the number bond true is what? What's going to get us to 10? If 
Very good. All right. Try this one. What's that other part that's going to get her whole to 10? Very good. Seven. Our missing part, we have a one. What plus one is going to get us to 10? Nine. Very good. Let's keep going. Ooh, we have a six in our number bond. It's one of our parts. What's the other part that's going to get us to 10? Four. Very good. You're getting good at this. You're getting the hang of it. Ooh, tricky one. We have 10 in our number bond. What's the other part that we need to get to 10? Do we need any more? So we're going to put a nice zero in there. Very good. All right, eight plus what is going to get us to 10? What's our other part? Two, very good. Ooh, another tricky one. We just kind of did this one. If I have zero and I want to get to 10, how many more do I need? I don't have any, but I want 10. I need to add another 10. Very good. What plus 4 is going to get to 10? What's our other part? 6. Very good. What plus 9 is going to get us to 10? Very good. Okay, so the important thing for today is to learn those 10 facts. You guys did a lot of work with number bonds and learning those facts real quick last year. So today was just a good review of that. So when you're done with the video, you are going to find this module one, lesson one, Google form. All you have to do is type in your answer. All of these questions, there are seven of them. All of them are going to be 10 facts. So that's all we've been working on. So all you're going to do is you're going to read the number sentence. 9 plus 1 equals, then you're going to type in your answer. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Easy as that. You're going to answer all of the questions and then hit submit. Don't get tricked on number 6. Look where the equal sign is. Don't get tricked. Okay. If you have any questions, let your teachers know. And I will see you guys next time. Have fun. Good job.